Hello everyone, so today we have yet again another zombie lock. I'm um, not sure how many I've done now, I think about four or five of them. But this is... It's always interesting for me to see how blocks have been defeated in the wild. And um, this one's no no different. It is a... Um, it's just a tricircle. Brass body padlock. But this one has the long shackle. Um, it was in much worse condition than this. I've just cleaned it up a little bit so it's easier to work with. And this one is the model 265. So I have in my collection 265. This is what it should look like normally without the long shackle. So 265. And yeah, that's the one from my collection. So it's a 50mm pad brass body padlock apart from the shackle and you can actually see the little pin there that would hold the shackle in normally drain hole and there's obviously it's obvious on this one there's the plate that retains the springs and everything and that's just the plug that covers the um, locking, bo locking bars or poles whatever you call them but um, yeah, let's have a look at this shackle and see how much the rust has really attacked it. And this is after cleaning it up a bit. So when I found it, it was completely, completely seized up. And I don't see any markings of where it says hardened on the shackle. But yeah, the shackles are all rusted. It's not. It's not. I've sanded it down a bit, so it's not so rough or dodgy to hold. Um, but how did this lock get defeated? I believe. Um, well, you can see this big scar it has on the block top of the lock body, and then we have it. You can see the shackle. It's not exactly straight anymore. So that's one other clue, and then the last clue, which is probably the most obvious one, is give it to give it away, give away the probable cause of defeat. Is if we zoom down and have a look at the inside the shackle hole, you can see the locking pole has been sheared. So all of those little factors taken into consideration would uh, would for most people um, point out that this lock had been locked up and it obviously had something placed on there given a very hard blow with the hammer so hard in fact that it's bent bent probably at this point here where it's weakest and then deformed the shackle so it's bent that way while shearing off the little bit of brass there that keeps the shackle in defeating their lock so yeah I believe this one was defeated with the hammer and now the shackle shackle spring in there is completely dead so it's not alive in on that side anymore it does still have a little bit of life I think in the in its plug so we will give it a little pick but I won't be using any expensive lock picks on it because we don't want to uh, break break any picks but you can see with a little bit of cleaning up the core is now moving again, which is what you want. So this lock will still have a little bit of fight in it after all that. But you can see this is again an example of the lock not being picked open in the field, but again broken into by someone. And I presume it was someone who was 
changing the locks maybe and they'd lost the keys for this one maybe this one had seized up and they just didn't know how to use some lubricant or something but I am just using this half snowman to, to try and rake him because I know he probably just has some standard pins in there and I don't really like SPPing standard pins so now I'm just trying to rake and open with this it is pretty sticky though because he's still very rough and all that inside there try and rock it if I can just trying to get the quarter turn um, turned a little bit And I do let off on the tension he you can hear some of those pins pop back down so we've got some springs that still work inside there which is which is nice but yeah if you've got a an old lock that is seized up don't if you've got old cheaper picks use the cheaper picks on it especially if you're not sure if it's if the core can or pins can be pushed up and so on you don't want to break any good picks on a relatively cheap lock like this one is anyway at least this chinesium lock has got some things going for it like a brass body and so on it's not the worst but they can all be bypassed, all the tricircles. I've only raked him, raked him open once. And yeah, the shackle was frozen like this or something. And then I just whacked it on the ground a couple of times to free it up and then, yeah, cleaned it up. But, uh,. I know the core will turn, I just have to get him to, he's still dirty in there, I'll have to just keep trying. Try my hybrid technique I guess, or maybe just try and SPP him with this snowman. If only, well, how what other zombie locks have I come across? There was the Corbin padlock, a big Abyss, a master lock, uh, I think it was a Tessie, maybe. Yeah, and then this one. But a uh, zombie lock is basically any lock that's been discarded. And defeated in the field that could that could or could not be seized up and uh, the core basically still has a bit of life in it so it's not like it's completely dead you know that's what I call a zombie lock I'm not really trying Pick it. I'm just trying to get a random open to be honest. I might need to put some WD 40 in that core because he's quite he's in dire straits, so we say, shall we say. I mean, at least got a uh, pins working right <sighs> but yeah you can see he's still putting up a fight but then again is it the rust 
and all that that's footing up a fight as well. It's also a good example of locks that um, you might be able to pick them rather easily at your desk or your wherever. But when you get when you when you're facing a lock that is from the field, if you want to say, or it's been outside and weathered and stuff, they don't exactly not, not exactly going to be. Oh, that's so easy! I can pick that. They might have other little tricks up their sleeve, like weather and dirt. Stuff. So I gave him a few squirts there of the old WD 40. Just wipe that shite off of there. Okay, that should help, I think, to get us into this guy. Okay. Oh, he's gritty. I can really, I can really hear the grit, grime inside there. But even with the little bit of lubricant from this thing. He is still pretty rough. But the springs probably do not work as well as they used to. Give it, give it to this lock. It's putting up a fight. I know I can get it though. Let's try to just move it that way. The thing is, it might be harder to pick it if the pins are down because, well, I imagine if there are some dodgy springs in there, it'd be harder for you to. to pop back up so maybe just picking it this way is better pop in the shackle because obviously the shackle's banjaxed. Let's give it a rock. Might need heavier attention to persuade him to open. I mean, I have a, I can have a hard time with the two six five padlock for some reason. I know we won't be shamming this one because it's already open. Combing it open. Well, I don't know, it could be a bit risky because of the seized up nature of the lock. You don't want to break a comb pick inside of this thing. I have 
my wrist is just a bit sore. I'm going to try and pick it with a different rake. I know that one worked for me before, but he's not quite working right now. So, I think, I think let's put him in the vise and then use a hook just to make life easier for everyone. So you can see nicely and I can see nicely. Actually, I'll turn the vice the other way because that would make more sense. Right. Now, move up. And right. Let's just focus on the core so that we can hopefully get the open. Now I just need to tension wrench for the top of the gear. Cores. This is what I prefer. I don't have to use the crappy Z wrench. So you can see it does turn. Let's just hope that stays there and then I'll use a cheap hook. Man, don't even feel anything at four. Maybe that's a, a clue right there. Problem I can feel with this is feels like the core, the tension ring wants to slip out. Might have to do a couple bounces on the springs or pins, I mean, because they won't exactly move very easily. Yeah, not feeling much out of this lock. Come on, there. I feel I can sense a broken pick coming. Maybe he only had one more open in him. and everything. Maybe making this harder to pick. At least I know the first pin wants to bounce back down. Gritty in there. <sighs> Wonder how long he had been over there. Could have been a year for all we know. Or more or less, but I don't know. Long time, I think.
Well, let's not cooperate with this. Let's try with the Z wrench again on the bottom. So, just enough to make a move. It definitely feels like one of the pins at the back is making the whole process harder because of how stiff it is or whatever the pins at the back there that are causing this to seize. Ah, there we go. Finally got a bit of movement there. But he is now picked eventually. And let's see if we can turn it around. So hopefully you can see when I turn the tension wrench, it is Bringing, moving him a bit anyway. Probably needs some more lubricant in there, but yeah, he is open. So, there we go. That's an old tricycle 265 giving us one last fight.